Well, good morning there, Cameron. It's nice to be in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. I forgot my sweater, but this will work. My name is Tom Severance. My stained glass business name is Shadow Wolf. With the new business and with the new plan of attack is to take the photographs I take of nature and landscape and turn those into pieces of stained glass. I originally started out because I had seen and done stained glass in high school. My family was from Italy and I took a few trips during my high school and when I was younger to Italy. I loved the glass with the light coming through it so it was always interesting. Uh, my father didn't think artists made much money so my paintings and my stained glass kind of got put on hold until after I got out of the military. I had some life-changing incidents in the military. And so in March of 2002, I decided to go back to school just to do something to try and keep busy. So I took stained glass with John Schultz. So the business of stained glass is particularly taking a piece of artwork that already exists, a photograph like I do, and then and when I'm busy, I'll hire another artist to do a rough sketch so that I can continue with the pieces. Some pieces, uh, two foot by three foot piece, uh, depending on the detail, that's usually gonna run me about a week to the end. That happens occasionally. What happened? It all went haywire on me. And it won't cut you up, it won't tear you up at all, but it'll wrap that cord up there. That's why you have the emergency stop on your foot so you can let go. So Jeff Gregory is another student which uh, I've taken large format with and nature and landscape. And we decided on a photograph that he took at the bison range to make into the piece of glass. The light design for the pieces of glass is specific and the daylight brings in the light for that. I'm Jeff Gregory and that's my stained glass. I took and put three uh, cattails on it on top of the piece of glass that we made out of glass. Uh, because that's my signature, is that third dimensional part that I always throw in somewhere. Sometimes it's very obvious, sometimes it's not. It's better than just having a flat piece of glass. I can put a clear piece of glass in a window with uh, bevels on it. And when the neighbor's blue car parks next door at night, when the lights are off, that glass will look purple. It simply picks up and amplifies kind of like a prism. Glass changes at least 12 times a day, depending on the movement of the sun. It changes the whole piece. It just it doesn't, unlike a painting, when the light changes, it doesn't just change how bright one area it is. It actually changes the effect, the look, the texture. The texture is used to help convey the feelings that we're trying to put out in the piece that we're doing. And each piece is like an artist piece. It's like a photograph. You have to know the sentimental value that you're trying to bring out with that piece of glass. But it's the way you place the bevels and the way you place the clear glass and the way you put the very little bit of color that is in the Victorian winter that brings out the beauty or the emotion that you're trying to draw out in the glass.